the lyrical ballads opens with and in the options we have rhyme of the ancient mariner ode to duty immortality ode none of these And the right answer of this question is option A, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Lyrical Ballads with a few other poems is a collection of poems by William Wordsworth and S.T. Coleridge. First published in the year 1798 and generally considered to have marked the beginning of the English Romantic movement in literature. Most of the poems in the 1798 edition were written by Wordsworth with Coleridge contributing only four poems to the collection, including one of his most famous work, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Question number two, the lyrical ballads closes with, and in the options we have Christabel, Immortality Ode, Kubla Khan, lines written a few miles above Tintin Abbey. And the right answer of this question is option D, lines written a few miles above Tintin Abbey. It is a poem by William Wordsworth, the title lines written a few miles above Tintin Abbey on revisiting the banks of the Y during a tour July 13, 1798, is often abbreviated simply to Tintin Abbey. It was written by William Wordsworth after a walking tour with his sister. Question number three, who was the third person with Coleridge and Wordsworth at Quantico Hills when the lyrical ballads were composed? And in the options we have Robert Saudi, Walter Scott, Dorothy Wordsworth, Mary Lamb. And among the given options, the right one is option C, Dorothy Wordsworth. Dorothy Wordsworth was an English author, poet and diarist. She was the sister of the romantic poet William Wordsworth. She made notes on her brother's writings and often helped him. She was an accomplished writer in her own right. Her works including numerous poems and journals. She did not publish anything during her own lifetime but much of her work was only discovered and published after her death. Question number 4. William Wordsworth was born in. And in the options we have 1768, 1769, 1770, 1772 And the right answer of this question is option C, 1770. William Wordsworth was an English Romantic poet who with Samuel Taylor Coleridge helped to launch the Romantic Age in English literature with their joint publication Lyrical Ballads. Wordsworth's magnum opus is generally considered to be the prelude a semi-autobiographical poem of his early years that he revised and expanded a number of times. Wordsworth was poet laureate from 1843 until his death from pleurisy on 23rd April 1850. Question number 5. Who of the following is known for his Hellenic spirit? And in the options we have Lord Byron, P.B. Shelley, Robert Saudi, John Keats. And the right answer of this question is option D, John Keats. Keats, as is well known, was not a classical scholar, yet he has been famous for his Hellenism. A term which may be defined as a love of Greek art, literature, culture and way of life. Keats had an inborn love for the Greek spirit, their religion of joy and their religion of beauty. Question number 6. Who wrote our sweetest songs are those that tell our saddest thoughts? In the options we have P.B. Shelley, Robert Saudi, Cardinal Newman, S.T. Coleridge. And among the given options, the right one is option A. P.B. Shelley. P.B. Shelley was one of the major English romantic poets and is regarded by some as among the finest lyric as well as most influential poets in the English language. The line which is a part of his Shelley's poem to a skylark which was completed by P.B. Shelley in late June 1820 and published accompanying his lyrical drama Prometheus Unbound by Charles and James Collier in London. 
Question number seven, how do we classify Shellless Prometheus Unbound 1820s? And in the options we have an epic, a legendary story, mythological story, a lyrical drama. And among the given options, the right one is option D, a lyrical drama. Prometheus Unbound is a four-act lyrical drama by P.B. Shelley, first published in the year 1820. It is concerned with the torments of the Greek mythological figure Prometheus, who defies the gods and gives fire to humanity for which he is subjected to eternal punishment and suffering at the hands of Zeus. Question number 8. Who wrote this? He breathed well, who loved well, both man and bird and beast. And in the options we have William Wordsworth, S.T. Coleridge, John Keats, Cardinal Newman. And among the given options, the white one is option B, S.T. Coleridge. The above said line is taken from great poem The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by S.T. Coleridge. Some of the lesson of this masterpiece when Mariner bids the wedding guest farewell with one final piece of advice. He breathed well, who loved well, both man and bird and beast. In other words, one becomes closer to God by respecting all living things, because God loves all of his creations, both great and small. Then the ancient Mariner vanishes. Question number 9. Keats and Demian has dashed lines. And in the options we have 3000 lines, 4000 lines, 2500 lines, 4500 lines. And the right answer of this question is option B, 4000 lines. And Demian is a poem by John Keats first published in the year 1818 by Teller and Hesse of Fleet Street in London. John Keats dedicated this poem to the late poet Thomas Chatterton. The poem begins with the line, A thing of beauty is a joy forever. And Demian is written in rhyming couplets in iambic pentameter, also known as heroic couplets. Question number 10. Which is the pair of lovers and Demian doesn't meet in Keats and Demian? And in the options we have Venus and Adonis, Romeo and Juliet, Glauca and Scylla, none of these. And the right answer of this question is option B, Romeo and Juliet. The mythological poem of English romantic poet John Keats, 4000 lines about young love of Endymion and the moon goddess Diana. It's a kind of hymn to the beauty, love, moon, muse and even the chanting of ancient Greece is the golden age of humanity. Question number 11. Who wrote the famous preface to the lyrical ballads? In the options we have S.T. Coleridge, Robert Southey, William Wordsworth, Lord Byron. So the right answer of this question is option C. William Wordsworth. The preface to the lyrical ballads is an essay composed by William Wordsworth for the second edition published in 1801 and often referred to as the 1800 edition of the poetry collection Lyrical Ballads and then greatly expanded in the third ed edition of 1802. It has come to be seen as de facto manifesto of the Romantic movement. Question number 12. When were the Lyrical Ballads published? In the options we have 1797, 1798, 1800, 1801 and among the given options the white one is option B 1798 lyrical ballads with a few other poems is a collection of poems by William Wordsworth and S.T. Coleridge first published in the year 1798 and generally considered to have marked the beginning of the English romantic movement and literature most of the poems in the 1798 edition were written by Wordsworth, with Coleridge contributing only four poems to the collection, including one of his most famous work, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Question number 13. Name the journal to which Saudi contributed regularly. In the options we have the Quarterly Review, the Backwards Magazine, the Edinburgh Review, the Westminster Review. And 
among the given options, the right one is option A, the quarterly review. The quarterly review was a literary and political periodical founded in March 1809 by the well-known London publishing house John Murray. Question number 14. Sir Walter Scott collected Scottish ballads and published them along with his own in. And in the options we have The Lay of the Last Minstrel, Mermian, Minstrelsy of the Scottish Border, The Lord of the Isles. And among the given options, the right one is option C, Minstrelsy of the Scottish Border. Minstrelsy of the Scottish Border is an anthology of border ballads, together with some from North East Scotland and few modern literary ballads, edited by Walter Scott. It was first published in 1802 but was expanded in several later editions, reaching its final state in 1832 years before Scott's death. Question number 15. How old was Byron when he published Hours of Idleness, a collection of poems in heroic couplet? And in the options we have 18 years old, 19 years old, 29 years old, 30 years old. And among the given options, the right one is option B, 19 years old. Hours of Idleness was the first volume of poetry published by Lord Byron in the year 1807 when he was 19 years old. It's a collection of mostly short poems, many in imitation of classic Roman poets. Question number 16. When Hours of Idleness was criticized by the Edinburgh Review, Lord Byron retaliated by writing a satiric piece. What was the title of this satire? And in the options we have The Vision of Judgment, Messipa, English Bards and Scotch Reviewers, none of these. And among the given options, the right one is option C, English Bards and Scotch Reviewers. English Bards and the Scotch Reviewers is an 1809 satirical poem written by Lord Byron, published by James Cuthorn in London. It was first published anonymously in March 1809, and second expanded edition followed in 1809 with Byron identified as the author. Question number 17, which work inspired Colres Kubla Khan? And in the options we have Hollingshed's Chronicle, Travels in Scotland, Purchases Pilgrimage, none of these. And among the given options, the right one is option C, Purchases Pilgrimage. Kubla Khan is one of the best known work by the English romantic poet S.T. Coleridge. The vision embodied in Kubla Khan was inspired by the perusal of the travel book, Purchases Pilgrimage. Question number 18. Michael, the solitary reaper to a highland girl, all these poems depict. And in the options, we have the poet's joy at the beauty of nature, simple common folk, poet's awe at the spiritual presence, deep sense of music. And the right answer of this question is option B, simple common folk. Question number 19. What was Wordsworth's professed M in the lyrical ballads? And in the options we have Purge Poetry of All Conceit, Simplicity of Diction, Make it Intelligible to Common People, all of the above. And among the given options, the right one is option D, all of the above. Question number 20. Which of the Shelley's poems has a story from Greek mythology? And in the options we have Prometheus Unbound, Aloster, Queen Mab, Julian and Medello. And among the given options, the right one is option A, Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus Unbound is a four-act lyrical drama by P.B. Shelley, first published in 1820. It is concerned with the torments of the Greek mythological figure Prometheus, who defies the gods and gives fire to humanity for which he is subjected to eternal punishment and suffering at the hands of Zeus. So that's all for today. Till next video, take good care of yourself. Allah